Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to review and feature what I'm gonna look over today. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I went to the grocery store myself and paid for it myself. I went to Whole Foods. I spent several hours there just kind of, you know, looking at the back of labels, trying to find some new cool stuff to feature uh, on my channel and bring to light for uh, people that are on a diet looking for some ways to you know, uh, not step outside of the diet, but ways to control their calories and their nutrition and um, still keep it within a, a healthy line of track. So the, the biggest problem I see with people is the lack of consistency and you, far too, you fall too far off and it's, it's really hard to recover from constantly. So it's one of the purposes of the channel. <laughs> um, I am. I work with people on their diets. I've been doing that for the past two years. My boyfriend is a chef, so one of our favorite things to do is to actually go to the grocery store. That's like exciting for us. Um, we spend a lot of time in the grocery store. So uh, I saw something about this on Facebook, and I thought it was really, really interesting because. They said it had a meat-like texture. It's not meat, it's a fruit. Um, I thought that that was kind of intriguing being someone that is, I'm a meat eater, um, I'm a carnivore. And, um, but if it's something that um, can, you know, help the vegan side of the world or the vegetarian side of the world, or maybe you're just looking to kind of reduce um, some of the protein out of your, um, diet, but still kind of have that uh, fulfilling type of experience. It is fulfilling, isn't it? That was a lot to get out for me. <laughs> you know, I have to explain to you what type of scenario I feel like it can be beneficial for. Because why else would you have a use for it if you didn't know how something worked or, you know, how, how could that, how can you relate to that? But here, I'll show you what I got. It, I got two, okay? These are already prepackaged. Um, jackfruit is the fruit that I am talking about. Let's move this to the side. Jackfruit, okay? And it comes already prepackaged. Um, and like I said, this is not meat. This is a uh, fruit. And they have two different flavors. So I got two different flavors. One's lime, and the other one is a barbecue. Comes in a container like so. All right. And ounce-wise, there is a little bit more than five. Well, it says 10.6 ounces. 10.6 ounces. So, um, that's not too bad. I, in my opinion, that breaks down to about two actual servings. Because anyone that eats meat typically eats about five ounces. So, um, it's a little bit over that. But, the cool thing about this is um, it's vegan. 100% vegan. It says it on the box. Uh, no gluten, no soy, and no oil. Um, as far as the ingredients go, um, things like tomato paste, vinegar, molasses, filtered water, lots of seasonings, okay? Paprika. So you might want to look that over if there's anything that, you know, maybe you have a reaction to. Um, same thing with this one. Same thing. This one just has a little bit of lime in it. All right. It's a product of Thailand, it says right here. I didn't read that yesterday. But, um... Okay, so um, I think cost-wise, um, I spent around, I want to say it was about five or six dollars. It wasn't too, wasn't too bad. Um, you know, people look at things in the store and they think, oh, that's too expensive. But there's not really any place you can really go eat very healthy for five or six dollars, okay? Um, off the dollar menu probably, but we're not going to go there. Um, we're going to try these today, and I'm going to put up the nutritional um, information, and we'll go over. Um, they vary a little bit, but not too much, not too crazy, so uh, we'll go over the barbecue one first. These are, this is the package, if you're interested in looking for it at your store. It's got a bearded man on it. Anyways, so... The jackfruit barbecue, okay? Now I'm confused which is which. <laughs> it's this one. Uh, the jackfruit barbecue has four servings. Um, so I'm thinking that more or less like a box 
is going to be, you know, um, you know, that that's enough for two people. That's enough for, you know, two meals in my opinion. So we'll put the nutritional facts right here. Okay. So half the box and that's how I want to break it down. Okay. So anything that you're looking at right here is going off of, um, it being four serving. So I'm just taking everything and multiplying it by two. All right. So calories, 90 calories per serving. The carbs are sitting right at 20, but there's 8 grams of fiber, so that's going to bring us down to 12 grams of net carbs, okay? That's a that's a pretty good bit of fiber. That is a lot of fiber, and that's great. Um, the only thing that I notice is there's zero fat, and there's 2 grams of protein. So you're not getting much in the way of protein, healthy fats, um, but like I said before, I think it's something that maybe you could add to your diet to satiate and... If it tastes good, we're all contingent upon it being absolutely delicious, okay? So, um, I think it's something that you could add to your diet um, whenever you want something that's low calorie or you're craving some sort of meat or you're eating a little bit of a salad and just want to put something on there that has a uh, meat imitation or if you're vegan. See, one of the problems that I noticed with vegetarians and vegans, um, typically everything <laughs> is so high carb. It's so high carb, and you really, really want to make sure that um, you're watching the fiber content too. So try to find things that have a high fiber content. It'll be a little bit easy carb-wise on you. And um, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. We're going to try it. I got some scissors to cut it. Is there a place? I don't trust these littles. Okay, well, I already ripped it, so we're just going to do it like that. I got me a little plate. I'm actually really excited to try this. Jackfruit's really great. It has um, a lot of great benefits. It promotes hair growth, prevents cancer. It um, helps with eyesight, improves digestion, constipation. It helps with thyroid, keeping your thyroid healthy as far as if you can eat it if you have hypothyroidism. Not 100% sure. Um, ulcers. Uh, keeps your skin healthy. Helps with your immunity. Has a little bit of an interesting kind of look to it. Do you see that? That's weird. I don't even need a spoon. Smells good. Man, I don't know how to feel about that. Now, okay. It does have that shredded quality, like they said. You see what I'm doing? Let me put this right here. So I can get Do you see how it kind of shreds? Now, if I had to compare it to anything, it reminds me of artichokes. Like, non Okay. I don't know if the barbecue has too much vinegar in it. But to say that it tastes like me, I don't I don't really feel like I agree. Can this take the place of my pork? No. But by itself I don't think it tastes bad. I don't think it tastes bad. But, how much do I like it? On a scale of 1 to 10? Like a 6 or a 7? I'm not crazy about it. Let me not lick my hands and I'll just wipe them off. Um, let's try the other flavor. Maybe that one has a little bit. Of, that one has a little bit of a spice to it at the end. Um, not nothing crazy, but I definitely notice a little bit of a kick. I'm eating this solo by itself, so would it taste differently on a sandwich? Would it would it produce a different vibe? I mean, visually, yeah. All right. This is the chili lime one. This one actually has a really good flavor. I wonder if it would taste different if it was heated up. It does not, and one of the reasons, well, it does say to pan fry. Remove product from pouch, place in pan. 
I'm going to cut the video. We're going to heat it up and we're going to see if that can help it taste any better. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So it did say on the box, which I completely missed, that um, you can heat it up. It doesn't say that you necessarily have to. Um, but it did give the advice to heat it up in a pan for several minutes. Um, I think I did maybe five minutes in the pan. And as you can see, it's steaming. Um, it really does have a real look to meat. It really does have a, a very meaty type of look to it. Um, as far as taste, things can taste different cold versus hot. Um, so I thought I'd give it the opportunity to see what it was like um, cooked. That's the chili lime one. It's okay. I mean, if you're a vegetarian, if you're eating this because you're a vegetarian and you don't eat meat, do you really want it to taste like meat? Or do you just want it to visually have the experience of uh, being similar to a meat? You know? Or what are you looking for when you when you're eating um, meat substitutes. <laughs> I'm going to have to pass on the barbecue one. I don't think it necessarily tastes bad. But um, there's a lot of vinegar within the barbecue sauce. So maybe um, if you just purchased a jackfruit yourself and mixed it in with barbecue and, and cooked it yourself. Uh, I don't think this is bad. I don't think this is bad. Um, I don't have much else to compare it to. I've never really tasted any jackfruit beyond this. So, um, am I going to purchase it again? Probably not. Probably not. I'm not disappointed in the product. Um, I do think that it is something that maybe you'll like try it buy it it's only five or six dollars it could maybe bring something exciting to your diet maybe you'll fall in love with it maybe you'll run away and get married <laughs> um i like i said i don't hate it i'm just not in love i'm not in love as far as the nutritional contents on the chili lime i'll put that up right here it's fairly similar to the barbecue um Half the box has 70 calories. Uh, as far as the uh, grams of carbs go, there's 14 grams of carbs, but there's also eight grams of fiber. So that's gonna leave you with six, six grams net, and there's two grams of protein. So zero fat, very similar to the other one, very similar. I think the difference is, you know, maybe 20 calories. Um, but it, like I said, it's super interesting. I've seen some videos about jackfruit and just thought I would give it a try. I'm sure my son will eat it. Or if you're someone that's looking into just kind of cutting back on your meat sources, try it out. Try it out. Maybe you'll like it. Um, I'm not cutting back on my meat sources. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Um, leave in the comments section below if you've ever tried the uh, jackfruit. I'm interested. This is the first time that I feel like I had really heard about it. And um, then I came across this in the store and thought I'd give it a, give it a go. But thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Hit the like button. And check out some of my other videos. Um, I talk a lot about diet and, um, and what I think certain things can be useful for. If I think they're any good. I'm just really trying to offer some support to people that are on their own or struggling uh, or trying to learn. Okay. But thanks so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.